I want you to send to the home of Mrs. Alexander, where the gorilla James Washington and Herbert Alexander were captured, and drive off all the stock except one milch cow, and burn every rail on Claymont Farm as a punishment for harboring gorillas. Notify the people in that vicinity that I will destroy every farm and drive off all stock wherever I find them harboring gorillas, and put the people outside my lines in the direction of Richmond. After Sheridan's departure from Ryan Hall, a neighbor posing as a cake seller went inside and found the valuable frames of the Lucas family portraits, carefully removed and sent north as booty. The paintings themselves remained lying about, which she saved. An Englishman house-sitting at Vinton dissuaded the destruction of that home by Sheridan's cavalry only after one marked their authority by riding his horse up the stairs. Jefferson County was as good as any place to start to pillage and plunder. Despite years of being foraged by both armies, this was the most prolific farm county in the great state, producing the most food and meat in 1840 out of 118 counties. First it was by a mile in swines raised, first by a wide margin in sheep production, first in potatoes, and second in all important wheat production. It's interesting to note the total take of food by Sheridan's men through November of that year throughout the entire valley, although enormous, wasn't even a fraction of Jefferson County's farm output in a good year. Grant wrote Sheridan that fall that so long as war lasts, the South must be prevented from raising another crop. By September 1864, Sheridan defeated General Early finally in, at Winchester, driving his men south, leaving the land behind them in waste. Little left, as Sheridan reported, for man or beast. His list of booty covered 53 categories of stuff, ranging from one locomotive, complete mills, tobacco, bacon, and ammunition. The whole country from the Blue Ridge to the North Mountain has been made untenable for a rebel army. I have destroyed over 2,000 barns filled with wheat, hay, and farming implements, over 70 mills filled with flour and wheat, have driven in front of the army over 4,000 herd of stock and have killed and issued to the troops not less than 3,000 sheep and a very large number of horses. So, the people of the valley knew better now the claws of war. Small wonder bushwhackers killed John R. Meggs near Harrisonburg for his great service to their destruction. For this atrocious act, all the houses within five miles were burned. This was the beginning of the end of Southern Resolve. But the hatred of Sheridan refueled Mosby's raiders so that they continued spot raids successfully throughout the area. Since I came into the valley from Harper's Ferry to Harrisonburg, Every train, every small party, and every straggler has been bushwhacked. Combat did continue, and the war dragged on. It was a beginning, but it was the beginning of the end. Thank God. <laughs>